uh, Summer at a hearing here inside the jail a short time ago. The mother was charged with aggravated manslaughter. The judge read her the charge. Police say this was no accident. One would ask themselves how this could happen. Police asked that question of 26-year-old Emily Hartman many times this month. They say they got many answers, most of them lies, about how her 14-month-old son died after being left in this car April 4th. His mother had left him strapped in his car seat in her car for about five or six hours during the daytime. Records show it was even longer than that. It all started during the previous night at a series of bars and convenience stores where Hartman went drinking and dart playing all night long, leaving the child strapped in the seat the whole time. She wound up at a friend's house on Coleman Street where the sun started to come up. Still, the child was simply abandoned, strapped in that car till about noon. Police say the mother was in a friend's house, smoking pot and buying cocaine. Finally, upon leaving, she noticed the child was in distress and took him to a fire station. Paramedics did all they could, and when they took him to a hospital, the emergency room called police. Mom, Mom said she was at Publix. She said baby was fine 30 minutes prior to the incident happening. But police say she finally admitted to the night of carousing while her child suffered. She does recognize uh, different things that she did during that particular time period is the reason that all this occurred. The baby boy died two days later. Police say this woman was in the habit of going out to bars and leaving her baby in the car outside while it was running uh, quite often. In this case, according to documents, she had turned off the car about sunrise because she felt at that time that the car was cold. We're live in Sharps, Brevard County, Dan Billow, West 2 News.